A321 maintenance checks before power supply. This film presents the A321 outside safety inspection and cockpit checklist to be performed before powering the aircraft for maintenance purposes. Various main stations have been defined. The inspection starts with the nose station. First, verify that the nose landing gear chocks are in place. Then, observe that the nose landing gear doors are closed. Make sure that the nose landing gear safety pin is installed. The nose landing gear steering pin must be as required. Finally, verify that the aircraft is electrically grounded. The second step consists in inspecting the right main landing gear station. Start by checking that the main landing gear door is closed. Then, Verify that the main landing gear safety sleeve is installed. Lastly, observe that the main landing gear chocks are in place. Let us continue with the right engine station. The first thing to do is to make sure that the engine right side access doors are secured. The same must be done for the left side. Check that the engine fan cowls and thrust reverser cowls are secured. The right wing is the fourth station. Observe the position of the slats and then the flaps. The ground spoilers must be retracted. Then, move to the left wing station. Here again, observe the position of the flaps and then the slats. Also make sure that the ground spoilers are retracted. The next step is the left engine station. Check that the engine right side access doors are secured. Then pass round the engine to verify that the left side access doors are secured. 
Make sure that the engine fan cowls and thrust reverser cowls are secured. Proceed with the left main landing gear station. The ram air turbine safety device must be in the stowed position. Continue by checking that the main landing gear door is closed and that the main landing gear safety sleeve is installed. Before moving on, observe that the main landing gear chocks are in place. In the aircraft area station, you have to make sure that the aircraft area is clean and clear of tools and other items. Now you have to check the ninth station, the external power receptacle. Verify that the external power is connected and available. Finally, enter the cockpit for the last station. Start by checking the rear and the overhead circuit breakers. Then have a look at the emergency equipment. This consists in verifying that the escape ropes are present observing that the fire extinguisher is in position, making sure that the cockpit is equipped with smoke hoods, checking that the fire protective gloves are present, ensuring that the crash axe is in position, Checking that the cockpit is equipped with life vests. Verifying that the oxygen masks are present. Observing that the flashlights are in position. You must then make sure that the wipers are off. Battery 1 and 2 push-button switches must be off and their voltage should be about 25 volts. Proceed by setting the battery 1 push-button switch to auto. Then set the battery 2 push-button switch to auto. Check that the right-hand dome light is on. Verify that the speed brake handle is in the retract disarm position. If the speed brake handle disagrees with the surface position, maintenance action is due. On the center pedestal, make sure that the thrust levers are in the idle position. Engine master switches 1 and 2 must be in the off position and the engine ignition mode selector in the norm position. 
observe that the flap handle is set according to surface position. If engine reverser cowls have to be opened for maintenance action, the slats must be retracted. Still on the center pedestal, check that the radar is off. Also verify that the ATC transponder is off. Make sure that the gravity gear extension crank handle is in the reset stowed position. On the instrument panel, observe that the three green triangles on the landing gear panel are on. The control safety checklist should now have been accomplished. On the overhead panel, set the external power push button switch to on. Also set the Gen 1 push button switch to on and the Gen 2 push button switch to on. Scan and check that no amber lights are on except Gen 1 and 2 fault lights on panel 35VU. The galley push button switch should be as required. Finally, verify that there is no light on the ventilation panel. The aircraft is now ready for maintenance.